डॉक्टर श्री कुमार बनर्जी चेयरमैन अटोमिक एनर्जी कमीशन डॉक्टर विजय भटकर नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ विज्ञान भारती श्री अशोक चौगुले डॉक्टर अच्युत थत्ते डॉक्टर बाल फोनके डॉक्टर दुर्गादास बागुल प्रिंसिपल केंकरे डॉक्टर हेमंत पेंडारकर पेंडुरकर सेवरल डिस्टिंग्विश पीपल हु आर प्रेजेंट हियर ऑनरेबल सुदर्शन जी आई एम सींग प्रोफेसर जे बी जोशी देयर एंड मेनी ऑफ होम मे बी आई हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू सी द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द कॉलेजेस द कीर्ति कॉलेज You already mentioned about Principal Kingre, Principal of Ruparel College, um, the uh, and and all all educational institutions who are who are participating in this function. There are several old friends from Bark and other institutions who are here. the science lovers scientists students ladies and gentlemen i'm actually overwhelmed when dr thatte called me about this function i got a sense that it's going to be a an interview to be conducted by him and dr phonke and it's only later much later in fact when i got letter from durga das babu dr bagul that i realized that this is a function to felicitate me i <clears throat> i have been the beneficiary of love and affection of of all of you and many others who are not here and at times out of that love and affection uh many attributes get ascribed to you and now in the world of internet i think this has become very easy and uh, you you can get lot of information about practically everybody on internet and uh, if you have many friends who love you and who are very kind to you then they load all kinds of information which may not be actually true and uh, and i have been a victim of that i'm quite happy that people think i'm worthy of all that but uh, and i have tried to correct it but some of these things which somebody else i have not loaded one bit of information on internet i must tell you this but uh, i tried to erase but apparently i think uh, it comes back again and uh, but anyway i want to thank all of you for the spirit with which uh, you have been expressing this affection to me i want to specially thank vigyana bharati i have uh, i think i have come pretty close to vigyan bharati over last uh, year or so i have seen their activities in in different parts of the country very dedicated people uh, i have seen their activities in maharashtra i have seen of course witness to some of their activities in kerala where it all began recently i saw their activities in madhya pradesh and uh, i i must salute all of you belonging to vigyan bharati for uh, for running this literally like a movement uh, because i think it's important that we we create attraction towards science in among the young people 
On the contrary, I would say for young people, you know, you go to a village, I think the city of Mumbai may not be a good example, but you go to a village and organize a science program and you will find the place will be full of young children. Uh, you take, look at newspapers which have a rural base. I think the science content in those newspapers is much higher than the big newspaper that we see in Mumbai. So I think attraction towards science is there and as long as it's not corrupted with, uh, with the so-called modernity, uh, I think uh, this, would, uh, this would stand us in, in good stead in terms of making India a self-empowered uh, technology powerhouse. That's the way I would describe. But then the question is, as you go along, when, uh, when somebody from school goes to colleges or somebody from a village comes to a city or somebody from a city goes abroad, something happens. And uh, maybe you can say it's a real world view or whatever. But uh, I think, uh, in my view, degeneration starts. Uh, the the basic values get corrupted, even, uh, for example, uh, even in terms of science, uh, you get into situation that, well, there was, I think it's not uh, very long ago, about eight or ten years ago, in US there was a very strong thinking, why do you require science? Everything has been developed, everybody has good quality of life, let us talk about commerce. Thank heavens that that view has changed. But in India, everything changes with a phase life. So if somebody else abroad makes a mistake, we also make that mistake. They correct it, later on we also correct. But I think what happens really is a copy. And uh, it's in this context that I very much value the Vigyana Bharati movement, where we create attraction towards science, we are create attractions towards the pride of India, that India also had uh, or has a great uh, uh, scientific history, many contributions to the world of science, and most importantly, a confidence that we can, we can do, it, uh, do it here. I must also thank uh, the educational institutions who have uh, taken the lead in, uh, in felicitating me. I have, uh, have been a beneficiary of uh, many of them uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of, if not anything else, the students that they, they provide for the programs in atomic energy and other national programs. And, uh, <coughs> I also know that I am guilty of not responding to the, all the requests. Madam Rege is there. I will I promise I will come to your college. Uh, Vivekananda, of course, I have been many times. My both daughters, they learned in Vivekananda College. Kirti College is a place where I stayed very close. I was living within five minutes walk from here. And Ruparel College is a place where I actually studied. So I have, uh, I have a uh, great affection uh, all around. I'm not going to talk anything specific, and Dr. Banerjee has uh, very eloquently uh, talked about the, the way forward and uh, the specifics of uh, atomic energy program. So I want to make some, some very broad remarks, in fact, on, on three areas. One, this aspect of self-reliance. Second, the aspect of uh, the scientific research and technology development and the relationship between two. And third, uh, some paradigm shift that we need to have in our education system. <coughs> 